I just wanted to show a close-up of the dogs. I used button eyes. These are button polymer alum anime eyes. And I got them from Pastiche Accessories. I have the link on my blog, www.helenmaycrochet.com. They're custom made. This one is blue with stars. And then these are green with hearts. And then I also got these clips that have a Yorkie dog. They come in pink and blue. And they have little clasps that you can use. And those are also from Pastiche Accessories. Or you can use safety doll eyes like these, which are from 6060 Eyes. What are nice about the button eyes, you can use a slender tapestry needle and it will fit with yarn in the back loop to sew them in place. I will also show how to make the scarf and the flower. There are going to be two separate video tutorials, one for the puppy dog and then one for the larger dog. These comical eyes I got from 6060 Eyes. I think they're adorable. I, I really love them. On my blog I put a link where you can also order them in bulk. Here's their little pins. So you can put a little dog pin on their scarf too if you wanted to. And then I also show how to make these bow clips, your own bow clips for your dog. Or you can just purchase your own. You can have fun with the colors too. This is a great project for losing, using up extra yarn. So you can use either just a regular brown color or you can have fun with color changes. So I show you how to, how to make the color changes as well. And you can put a little clip on the back of the outfit or the body as well. Of course, sometimes I'll make these secret containers. So some of the dogs I made without a container. So I'll show you both methods if you don't want to use a container. But you can see how I have a container that fits perfectly into the body. Now, the scissor fob that I show inside one of these containers has a separate video tutorial where I show you how to make that. But you can have fun and put anything into the secret compartment. The little puppy dogs also have a secret compartment. And you can see how I put little crochet hooks into this one. But you can put pens, pencils, and other items into the secret container. For this crochet project, you're going to need your 3.75 millimeter crochet hook, as well as a darning needle or a tapestry needle, and a pair of scissors. The eyes that I used are Comical Eyes by 6060 Eyes. These are the latches that go on the back. They're a metal latch, and again, I got my safety eyes from 6060eyes.com, and they're called the Comical Eyes. The yarn that I used is by Crafters Secret. The color is brown. Here's some information about this yarn. You can use any medium for 100% acrylic yarn for this project. You're also going to need a medium for 100% acrylic black yarn. Then you can have fun with the body. So I'm using all kinds of different colored yarns. They're all 100% acrylic yarns. Some of them have a little sparkle to them. This one is a neon. I love this yarn. It has a sparkle. The color is, I believe it's fuchsia. Oh, this one, I put the blue neon tag on it. So the blue neon sparkle 
and this one is a fuchsia sparkle yarn. And I have a Red Heart Super Saver Pretty in Pink yarn and a lighter yarn, lighter pink. And then I just have a white colored yarn. So you can have fun with some of your leftover yarns, which is what I'm going to do for the body stripes. The container that I like to use are the Planners Roasted Peanut containers. They work great. So make sure I cleaned it out really well. And you can try and take off a lot of the paper and I'm going to take off the plastic. We're going to start with the head, so take the main color that you want for your dog and then just drape the yarn across your four fingers, use your thumb to stabilize and wrap the yarn around your two middle fingers twice and then hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. Then take your crochet hook and again I'm using my 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. Go under those two loops and bring up a loop then yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through that loop for a slip knot. Then you're going to place six single crochet into the magic circle. So six single crochet into the magic circle. Then take your forefinger and thumb, hold the base of the six single crochet. And then you have these two loops on the opposite side. Go ahead and pull on one of them. If it doesn't close, let go and pull on the other one, but this one's closing. And then just take that loose yarn end and pull on that. And then turn your work so that you're going to work into that first stitch in the round. And you're going to make two single crochet into the first stitch. Just make sure you grab both loops of that first stitch. Then make two single crochet into the same stitch. And then you're going to make two single crochet into every stitch around, back to the beginning. And you should have a total of 12 stitches when you get back to the beginning. So two single crochet into every stitch around. Now you should have a total of 12 stitches in the round. If you need to close the center of your magic circle, just turn your work over and pull on that loose yarn end on the back and that'll close up the circle. Then you're going to need a yarn marker because we're going to make increase rounds, which means that we're going to increase the number of stitches for each round. So for the first increase round, you're going to make one single crochet into the first stitch. and then two single crochet into the second stitch. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So one single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch. So go ahead, repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back. So now you should have a total of 18 stitches in the round. So for each increase round that we're going to make, I'm not going to give you the stitch count because what you're going to do is just add 6 and then that will give you your stitch count for the round. So now for our next increase round, you're going to take and move your yarn marker up and this time you're going to make one single crochet into two stitches.
and then two single crochet into the third stitch. And then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So one single crochet into two stitches and then two single crochet into the third stitch. And then go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and then again to get the stitch count just add six. Now for the next increase round go ahead and move your yarn marker up and then you're going to place one single crochet into three stitches and then two single crochet into the fourth stitch. Then repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Then for the next increase round is one single crochet into four stitches and then two single crochet into the fifth stitch. Go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Then you can see how it's getting larger and larger which is what we want. For the next increase round you're going to make one single crochet into five stitches and then two single crochet into the sixth stitch. Then go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So now we're going to make two more increase rounds and again we're still going in chronological order. So the next increase round is going to be one single crochet into six stitches and then two single crochet into the seventh stitch. And then for the last increase round you're going to make one single crochet into seven stitches and then two single crochet into the eighth stitch. So now you should have 54 stitches total in the round. So now I finished 54 stitches total in the round and now you're not going to make any increase rounds. You're going to maintain the number of stitches in the round and you're just going to make one single crochet into every stitch around. So only one single crochet in every stitch Now when you reach the yarn marker you should still have a stitch count of 54 because we're not increasing the number of stitches and we're not decreasing the number of stitches. When you reach the yarn marker just continue crocheting one single crochet into every stitch around and you're going to continue making one single crochet into every stitch around until we have the length that we need for the head. You need 15 rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. After you finish your 15 rounds, go ahead and place the eyes. So go ahead and go to the opposite side. And then you're going to count from the magic circle. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 rounds until I place the top of the eyes. I have them slightly angled and then I have one, two, three, four, five stitches between the bottom of the eyes and six stitches between the top of the eyes. Then you can go ahead and place the metal latches on the back of the eyes. Then go ahead and turn your work back around and we're going to go ahead and close the head Go ahead and take your yarn marker and place it up where you left off. Now the first decrease round is going to be one single crochet into seven stitches. And then we're going to make our decrease stitch or single crochet two stitches together. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we're going to make our decrease stitch. Go into the next stitch over, bring up a loop. Go into the next stitch over and bring up a loop. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through all three loops for a decrease stitch. And you're going to repeat this pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. One single crochet into seven stitches and then single crochet two stitches together or decrease stitch. Now you should have 48 stitches 
in the round. Then you're going to get ready for your next decrease round. It's going to be in chronological order. So the next one will be one single crochet into six stitches. And then you're going to single crochet two stitches together. And you're going to repeat this pattern all the way around, back to the yarn marker. Then you're going to make one single crochet into five stitches and then your decrease stitch. Then repeat that pattern all the way around, back to the yarn marker. And for your stitch count, just subtract six after each round. Then one single crochet into four stitches and then your decrease stitch repeating the pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. I finished with a stitch count of 30 after that round. Go ahead and remove your yarn marker. Then you're just going to make a slip stitch into the next stitch over. So go into the next stitch, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. Then you can go ahead and finish off, just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to sew the head onto the body. Now we're going to make the snout. Go ahead and set the head aside for now. For the snout, you're going to start it the same way. You're going to start with the magic circle. And you're going to start with your slip knot and then place six single crochet into the magic circle. Then hold the base of the six single crochet with your forefinger and thumb. Go ahead and close it just like you did for the head. Then turn your work for the first stitch and then place two single crochet into that first stitch and then two single crochet into every stitch around until you have a total of 12 stitches in the round. Then you can take and turn the work over and just pull on that loose yarn end on the back to close up the center of the magic circle. Then just take your yarn marker and place it right where you left off. We're going to start making increase rounds. You should already know how to do the, the increase rounds from making the head. We're going to be increasing to one single crochet in four stitches and then two single crochet into the fifth stitch. So I'll get you started for the first increase round and again we're going in chronological order up to four. So for the first round it's one single crochet in the first stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch and then repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So now you should have two, 18 stitches in the round. Just add six stitches after you complete each round to see what your stitch count is. Now for the second increase round, you're going to make one single crochet into two stitches and then two single crochet into the third stitch. And then just repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So now we have two more increase rounds. The next increase round is one single crochet into three stitches and then two single crochet into the fourth stitch and repeat that pattern all the way around. And then for the last increase round you're going to make one single crochet into four stitches and then two single crochet into the fifth stitch and repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So now you should have 36 total stitches in the round. 
and we're going to maintain that stitch count. Go ahead and move your yarn marker up and now you're going to make one single crochet into every stitch around until you've completed 10 rounds. So you need 10 rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. Now after you finish your 10 rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around, go ahead and make a slip stitch into the next stitch over, and then you're going to finish off. Just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to sew the snout onto the head. But for now, we're going to set the snout aside because the ears are made the exact same way. So we're going to go ahead and start the ears. So go ahead and start your ear the exact same way that you did for the snout. So again for the ear, you're going to start with the magic circle of six single crochet into the magic circle and then two single crochet into every stitch around until you have a total of 12 stitches in the round. Then you're going to increase in chronological order until you get to one single crochet into four stitches and then two single crochet into the fifth stitch. So the first increase round is one single crochet into one stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch. So go ahead, finish making all of your increase rounds in chronological order until you finish with one single crochet into four stitches and then two single crochet into the fifth stitch. The exact same way that we did for the snout. Then, after you finish increasing to one single crochet into four stitches and then two single crochet into the fifth stitch, just move your yarn marker up and you're just going to make one single crochet into every stitch around until you get the length that you want for your ears. Now for the ears, you're going to be making one single crochet into 20 rounds. With the snout, we made one single crochet into 10 rounds, so we doubled it for the ears. Then you can make a slip stitch into the next stitch over and then finish off. Just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to sew the ears on the head. So again, the ears are made the exact same way as the snout, except you're making one single crochet into 20 rounds instead of 10. Then go ahead and remove the yarn marker, and you need two ears. After you finish your ears, go ahead and set them aside. We're going to make the nose to go on the snout. Now you can either buy your nose or you can make your nose. I'm going to make mine with my black yarn. So the first thing you're going to do is just take and fold the yarn over on itself to form a loop. Take your crochet hook, hold the base of the loop with your middle finger and thumb, then yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through the loop for your slip knot. Then you're going to make a chain just yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through the loop for one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So finish making a chain of seven, and then come back. Then you're going to go into the second chain from the hook and bring up a loop. Complete your single crochet, and then you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch back across, except for the last stitch. In the last stitch, you're going to place three single crochet into the same stitch. So one single crochet into every stitch back across except for the last stitch. I'm at my last stitch now. I'm going to make three single crochet into the last stitch. And then you're going to turn your work so that you're working on the opposite side. We're going to be working in rounds. So now I have the opposite side facing up. I'm going to go into the next stitch over 
I'm going behind my loose yarn end and then I'm making one single crochet in every stitch back across except for the last stitch. So in the last stitch for the round I'm going to make three single crochet into the same stitch. I'm going to go ahead and trim my yarn marker, I mean loose yarn end. Then in the last stitch I'm going to make one single, three single crochet into the same stitch to complete the round. I have a total of 15 stitches in the round. Then I'm going to take and place my yarn marker and now I'm just going to make one single crochet into every stitch around. So only one single crochet in every stitch around. Then after you finish two rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, go ahead and remove your yarn marker and you're going to make a slip stitch into the next stitch over. And then you can go ahead and finish off, just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to sew the nose onto the snout. Now for, this, for the um, nose, I'm going to use some of my black yarn as stuffing. So just get a small amount of black yarn. And then you're going to use that in the nose as stuffing. And then this, the nose is ready to be sewn on to the snout. Then you want to line up your nose so that it's, here's the magic circle. I went up one round and then placed the nose. Make sure that you center it. And then once it's positioned the way that you want it, you can take your tapestry needle and just sew all around the base of the nose. So you just go in and out all along the base of the nose and just secure it in place. Then you're just going to take your tapestry needle or darning needle, put your black yarn onto the needle and then you're just going to sew the mouth on. So I just go right down at the bottom of the nose. Oops. Make sure that you're centered. So you want to come out on the center of the bottom of the nose and make sure that you leave enough loose yarn end on the inside for tying a knot. Then you're just going to go straight down I went to the bottom of the magic circle. And then I'm just going to make a smile. So I'm just going to go over two rounds. And then up about a stitch. And then go right back in to the bottom of where you um, went with the initial line. And then you made one side of the smile, so now you're going to make the other side the exact same way. You want them to be symmetrical or the same on both sides. And then you just go right back in where you made the opposite side of the smile. Then you can tie a knot on the inside. Then if you want to make the tongue, I'm going to show you how to make the tongue now. Just set the snout aside for now. And then you're going to take whatever pink colored yarn that you want for the tongue or red. And we're going to start with the magic circle. 
And just like we've done before, you're going to start with your slip knot, and then you're just going to place six single crochet into the magic circle. So we've done this before. And then you're going to close up the magic circle, except this time you're just going to chain one. So you made a chain of one. And then you're just going to turn your work. And then you're going to make two single crochet into the next stitch over. So we're making a half moon. And then make two single crochet into every stitch back across to the opposite side except for the last stitch. So in the last stitch you're going to make a slip stitch so just yarn over and pull the yarn through both loops and you can see how you made a half moon then go ahead and yarn over and pull enough yarn through to finish off and sew the tongue onto the snout. So you can go ahead and pull on that loose yarn in to close up the center of the magic circle and then you have your tongues ready to sew onto the snout. So for mine, I'm getting the shorter loose yarn end first and then just position the tongue where you want it I want mine to be, I'll place mine right in the center, but you can make yours go to the right or to the left, whatever way that you want to place your tongue. So I'm not going to hide the smile, I'm going right under the smile. And then you're just going to sew across the base of the tongue. You don't want the curved flap to be sewn down unless that's how you want yours to look. So for mine, I want just the base of the tongue sewn in place. So I'm just going to sew right across the base and then tie a knot on the inside. Then just take your craft stuffing and place it right into the snout and it's ready to be sewn in place. So just line up the snout. And you're going to want to bring the bottom portion of the snout up three rounds. And make sure that the nose stays straight as you sew across the base of the snout. And line it up right between the eyes. So for mine, I lined up the nose so that it's straight and between the eyes. And then I sewed the bottom portion first. So the bottom portion only, and I moved it up one, two, three, four rounds. And then I'm going to take and sew the top portion. So the bottom portion I sewed first, and then I'm going to take, line up the top portion, and then sew the top portion in place. So you can see how I came up along the top portion and then I'm just going to take and sew across the top portion now to secure it and then I can sew the sides in place. So then you can see how I went down the side and don't worry if you skip stitches at this point because you can always go back around another time or a couple times to make sure that all the stitches are secure. The other thing you want to make sure of is that both sides of the snout are equal on the opposite sides of the eyes as well. Then you have your snout sewed on, you're ready to sew the ears on. Now for the ears, you want to take your same colored yarn. I left enough loose yarn in for sewing mine on, but if you didn't, just get the same colored yarn on your tapestry needle or darning needle. And then you're going to line up the ear with the top of the eyes or however you want the ears to look on the head. For mine they line up with the comical eyes. If you didn't use the comical eyes you'll want to line it about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight 
rows down, eight to nine rows down. Make sure that both edges of the ear are together. And for mine, I'm about three stitches out from the, the eye. And then you're ready to sew the ear in place. Sometimes it's a little bit easier if you take and just sew the two edges together before you sew the ear onto the dog. And then once I've positioned it where I lined it up with the top of the comical eyes and then counted about one, two, three stitches over, three to four stitches over, then I make sure that I follow the curve of the head and just sew the top portion of the ear only, securing it to the head. And then you want to make sure you line up the opposite ear the same way. You want both ears to look the same. You don't want one crooked. So make sure they look the same on both sides. And then I just tied a knot on the inside of the head and then left the loose yarn end on the inside of the head. And this is what my ear flap looks like. And again, you want to want to sew the opposite ear on the same way. And then just set the head aside. I'm going to show you how to make the body. Now for the body, we're going to start with the same colored yarn as the head. You're going to start with the magic circle. You're going to make your slip knot. And then you're going to place six single crochet into the magic circle, just like we did for the head and the snout. So the body is going to be started the same way as the head. So I have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six single crochet into the magic circle. I'm going to go ahead and close it. And then turn my work. And then you're going to place two single crochet into every stitch around for a total of 12. So again, this is the exact same way that we started with the head. So two single crochet in every stitch around. So now you should have a total of 12 stitches in the round. And you know that for each increase round that we're going to be making now, just like we did for the head, you just add six to your stitch count to get the stitch count for the round. So we're going to increase to the same amount that we did for the head, which is one single crochet into seven stitches, and then two single crochet into the eighth stitch. So for the first increase round, we're going to make one single crochet into the first stitch, and then two single crochet into the second stitch, and repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. And again, we're working in chronological order all the way up to one single crochet into seven stitches and then two single crochet into the eighth stitch, which is the exact same thing we did for the head. Now, after you increase to one single crochet into seven stitches and then two single crochet into the eighth stitch, you should have a total of 54 stitches in the round. We're going to maintain that stitch count now. So go ahead and move your yarn marker up and now you can have fun with making as many rounds as you want in a certain color before changing colors. So you're just going to make one single crochet into every stitch around until you're ready to change colors. Now after I finished one single crochet into every stitch for five rounds, I'm going to go ahead and change colors. For my colors, I'm going to be using white and then the neon blue and then the sparkle blue. So I'm just going to alternate between those colors. I'm going to start with the white And then I'm always going to change colors at the yarn marker so that the color change seam will be under the, for under the, on the underbelly of the dog. So I'm going to use this for the bottom of the dog's belly. And then this will be the top. So I'm always going to color change in the same place. So the first thing you're going to do 
is just go into the next stitch over and bring up a loop. You have two loops on the hook. Then go ahead and get your new color and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook. Then you can go ahead and chain one with the new color and then take and tie a knot and then you just cut the previous color. So in this case it was the brown. And then you're ready to continue crocheting one single crochet in every stitch around. Now the one thing that you want to do is make sure that you still have a 54 stitch count when you reach the yarn marker. So always make sure you have 54 stitches in the round before you continue on. Otherwise it may be getting smaller and smaller and then your body will look funny. So make sure that each time you reach the stitch marker or the yarn marker to end the row that you have a stitch count of 54. So this is what my body looks like when I'm finished. I made 39 total rounds and you can see how I made my color changes. And then I ended with the brown. Then after you make your last round, you're going to make a slip stitch into the next stitch over. And then go ahead and finish off. Yarn over and just pull enough yarn through to bury into your work. Now if you need to bury your loose yarn end, just take your tapestry needle and put it onto that loose yarn end. And then you're just going to weave it through the wrong side of your work. And then just trim it. And now we're ready to make the back cover. So on the body, we're going to start the back cover the same way that we started the body. I'll get you started. So you're going to start with a magic circle with six single crochet in the magic circle. Then you're going to take and turn your work so that you're going to make two stitches into that first stitch. And then you're going to make two single crochet into every stitch around until you have a total of 12 stitches in the round. Then you're going to go ahead and start your chronological increases starting with one single crochet in the first stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch repeating that pattern all the way around to the yarn marker and then you're going to keep increasing for each round until you get to one single crochet into seven stitches and then two single crochet into the eighth stitch. And then you'll come back. So again, start with one single crochet into one stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch. And then in chronological order, you're going to increase all the way up to one single crochet into seven stitches and then two single crochet into the eighth stitch. After you finish all of your increase rounds, you should have a total of 54 stitches in the round. Then go ahead and move your yarn marker up and you're going to place one single crochet in every stitch around for two rounds and then come back. So two rounds of only one single crochet in every stitch around. So after you finish your two rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around, go ahead and move your yarn marker up and then make one single crochet into each of the next 29 stitches. So count one single crochet into each of the next 29 stitches and then come back. 
I finished making one single crochet into 29 stitches. Now we're going to make a little hole for the tail. So you're going to chain three. One, two, three. Then you're going to skip three stitches. One, two, three. And make a single crochet into the fourth stitch. And then you can see how he made a little buttonhole loop that the tail will fit through. Then you're just going to continue making one single crochet in every stitch around back to the yarn marker. Then just take and move your yarn marker up and you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch until you reach the loop that we made for the tail. So only one single crochet in each stitch up until you reach the tail loop from the previous round. Then you're just going to go right into the tail loop and make a three single crochet into the tail loop just to kind of add extra security to the opposite side of the tail loop. And then just continue making one single crochet in every stitch back to the yarn marker and then come back. Then you can remove your yarn marker and then just make a slip stitch into the next stitch over. And then go ahead and finish off, just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to sew the back cover onto the dog. And for now, go ahead and set this cover aside. I'm going to show you how to make the tail. Now for the tail, you're also going to start with a magic circle with the six single crochet in the magic circle, just like we've done before. Go ahead and close that circle. And then just turn your work. But this time, you're not going to make two single crochet into every stitch around. This time, you're going to go ahead and grab your yarn marker, place it right where you left off, and then you're going to make one single crochet into the first stitch, and then two single crochet into the second stitch, and then you're going to repeat this pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. One single crochet in the first stitch, two single crochet into the second stitch. When you're finished, you should have a total of nine stitches in the round. Go ahead and move your yarn marker up, and then you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around until you have the length that you would like for your tail. For mine, I'm going to make it 12 rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. After you finish your 12 rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, go ahead and remove the yarn marker and then you're just going to make a slip stitch into the next stitch over and then go ahead and finish off, just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to sew the tail onto the dog. And then you're just going to take a little bit of craft stuffing and put it into the tail before you sew it on. So now just take the body, make sure that you have the right side facing up. The color change seams should be on the bottom of the body. And then just line up the tail at the edge of the opening for the back of the body and just sew all along the base of the tail with your tapestry needle. Now after you have the tail sewn on, you can take the back portion of the body, make sure that your loose yarn ends are buried, that the right side is facing you, and then just take that tail loop and then put it right through, the tail right through the loop, might have to stretch it just a little bit and then just pull the tail through then you can take 
and sew the bottom portion of the back of the body only because you want to be able to open up the flap. So just line up so that you sew the bottom portion only. So for mine, I made sure that I found the bottom of the flap and then I just took my tapestry needle and just went through a stitch on the back cover and a stitch on the body and then I just go a little bit towards the side without going up the side just a couple of stitches so about four stitches and then I'm going to go back across the bottom and then I'm just sewing the bottom of the flap in place along the bottom of the body. Oop, hook my scissors. And then I'm just going to go up a little bit on the side, on the opposite side. And then you can just double check your work. Make sure that you've sewn the amount that you want to sew for the flap. So here you can see how I've sewn the bottom portion of the flap. And then if I open up the flap, this is what it looks like on the back of the body, which is what I want. And then once I'm happy or you're happy with how yours is sewn on, then you can take and tie a knot and then bury the loose yarn end on the wrong side not on the side that's facing you so you just take I'm going to open up the flap again and then I'm just going to bury my loose yarn end through the wrong side of the work I want to make sure it's nice and buried so I'm going to go through a couple of times through the bottom and then once it's buried you can go ahead and trim the loose yarn end. The container that I like to use are the Planters Roasted Peanut containers. They work great. So make sure I cleaned it out really well. And you can try and take off a lot of the paper and I'm going to take off the plastic. And this is what it looks like after I've taken off the wrapping. Then you can go ahead and stick it, the container into the body. And then just close up the back of the body. And then we're going to get ready to sew the head on. So you just kind of close up the back portion of the body and then turn the work so that you're, you have the front of the body facing you and then go ahead and grab your head and make sure you stuff the head with craft stuffing.